Hey everyone, it is Soraya from Tough Love Co-Ed. I'm making this video as a review slash what you didn't see on TV slash update on not only myself but the rest of the cast. Uh, I've been getting a lot of messages, things that I haven't been able to say up until now because the show's over, about what ended up happening with this person or that person or myself. So this video is here to answer all of your questions. So we start off um, the season finale, episode 9, as a, I guess, uh, to be continued from episode 8. In episode 8, Steve ends with telling me that I have something that I need to do. And that thing that I need to do is take Christopher home to meet my family. Uh, what you guys really haven't seen at all um, during this season is that me and Christopher were not only extremely good friends, like, I mean, talking every single night about everything that's been going on in the house but um, you know the flirtation with editing just kinda looked like it was very nonchalant like oh you're so pretty and I just took it way serious and wrote him these love letters and stuff and let's be clear that the letter that I wrote was reassuring him that like he made the right decision with choosing Amanda we're really not here for you know to date each other you're a really great guy hey if things don't work out maybe we can try something later um, but for now let's take advantage of what Steve has in front of us um, the with editing and the way that it was read it looked a little bit more um, as like a uh, a declaration of my love I guess and while I do love Christopher uh, it wasn't exactly the way that they made it seem um, so I'm a little shocked first off because when I gave Christopher the letter it was like hey this is for you read it throw it out when Steve pulls it out I'm like oh not only did you not destroy the letter but you gave them a copy like that's pretty shady like that was between me and you so I'm upset at Christopher, I'm upset at Steve for reading it on national television and making it look way more intense than it really was. Um, but at this point, you know, I would I would like to take Christopher home to meet my family. I mean, at this point, he's like my best friend. Like, I love being around him. He's always a good time. Like, I feel like it, it, it's going to be a fun experience. So we go out, um, and the first thing that we get to do is karate lessons uh, with my dad, who is a sixth degree black belt um, in eight different forms of martial arts, I believe, and uh, the Hall of Fame winner, I mean, Guinness Book world record breaking, it, he doesn't mess around. So it was a little funny kind of throwing Christopher into that, and then my dad's doing you know all his uh, submissions and arm bars and um, but I felt like Christopher took it like a champ um, you know we got to meet or he got to meet my mom my best friend my cousin my aunt my little sister uh, he was kinda <laughs> bombarded with all the estrogen in the room but uh, it was still a fun time and you know I kinda make jokes I'm like yeah well if, you know if we ever wanted a date like he he can fly for free, ha ha. Of course, with editing, it made it look like I was like super serious, and he was like, "Uh, skirt? No, not my cup of tea." Um, but like on the show, he had always said stuff like that he wanted to, you know, like see something out with me. He really likes me, didn't really care about all these other dates. So like in my head, I'm thinking that maybe there is something that can happen here. Like we'll see. Um, we go to my outlook point in San Francisco overlooking the Bay Bridge and the Golden Gate and it's absolutely beautiful and if you couldn't tell how awkward that was let me tell you how awkward that kiss was um, the executive producer was with us and we had one cameraman and a couple of audio techs and I think a like a PA which a personal assistant um, the sun is setting, the sun is at a really pretty point, and, uh, you know, on the skyline and stuff, and they go, so, if you guys wanted to kiss, you know, this would be a really good time. Just putting it out there, completely up to you. Mind you, it is reality television, but they still can direct certain things. The editors can still make things look a certain way. So anyways, so they asked us if we would be okay with that. It was a little uncomfortable. We both kind of looked at each other like, I mean, you okay? I mean, I don't know. 
I guess it's fine so there's like this really awkward like moment of like hesitation and then we kiss while we're kissing the camera guy we have one cameraman he goes yeah keep going keep going and he like shoots from like different angles and so we're like still like kissing like oh this is a little uncomfortable um but I, I guess I mean they got the shot that they wanted they wanted the sun peeking through whatever but uh yeah, it was a really, really, really uncomfortable kiss. For my first kiss on the TV show itself, like, it was just really, it was weird. Um, from there, we went to Krogan's, which is uh, a bar that I go to regularly in Walnut Creek. And, um, you know, we kind of sit down, and I get pulled aside, and he goes, Hey, sit down, ask him, like, what do you want to do from here? And um, try to take that conversation in a, like, you know, so what now? not a problem I'm thinking I'm pretty sure we have a pretty good mutual understanding of what we both want like we came here we try to see like if there was something here really wasn't like you know I was expecting when I asked him for him to be like look like we're friends like that you know you're always gonna be my friend I'm gonna come see you like you know we'll see where things go but when I asked him his exact response was and they cut this out I said so you know like what 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 do you you know see happening from this point on or something along those lines and he goes well I'm gonna be honest with you boot camps almost over so it's not like I'm gonna try and I was like what what that's when I started getting a little upset I was like first off that's not what I asked you I just said like from here on out like what are the plans like you know obviously we're gonna re remain like in contact with each other and so I was a little upset I was like calm down and then I was like well all I'm just asking because like you know I don't want to have expectations or whatever he's like who said you should be expecting anything from me and then I'm getting even more mad I was like that's not what I meant like what I meant and he just kept talking over me talking over me and then it got into like like a debate like a heated debate mind you while we're fighting the bartenders keep coming and bringing us shots of Patron because they can see that there's something you know about to boil over and throw a little alcohol in the mix and it makes it more intense so by this time, not only am I irritated because I'm not getting a word in, I feel kind of like he's brushing me off like I'm sitting here like throwing myself at him. And I'm like, first off, that's not what I'm asking you. Like, calm down. Stop being so full of yourself. So it just ended up being like this really bad argument, which was supposed to kind of give us some sort of understanding of what to do from this point on. And it ended up just being an argument. I didn't want to talk to him like we left in a worse place than when we started um we end up going you know to the the finale and steve just simply asked me so you know how do you how do you feel about christopher and i wasn't go i wasn't planning on going into it like to talk badly about him or anything like that it was more of like you know i think and they cut all the good stuff i said about christopher i said you know christopher you're a great guy you're so funny i love your energy but I think that we should just, you know, keep it on a friendship level because I want somebody who is going to want a commitment. I want somebody who feels that I am deserving of being in a relationship. You know, you, pers you personally, you live with me. You saw what I went through with, for two and a half years of somebody who was afraid of a commitment. Like, that's not what I want from this point out. And, um, you know, with editing, it made it look a little bit more like me bashing him but it was it was really kind of from a good place it was just like look this is what I want that's not really you but you're a cool guy we're always going to be friends and whatnot he was really upset with me though after that conversation because he felt like I threw him under the bus I didn't prepare him for what I was going to say and he thought that it was just going to be like yeah we're friends like pound it and walk out um, but I felt like that was the, my opportunity to kind of tell him like, look, like I cared about you. Like I was willing and open to see if maybe there was something there, but the way that you shut me out just made me realize like, you're not what I want. I want something better. Um, so I guess we're, you know, we'll do a little, where are they now? Uh, people ask me all the time, did you and Christopher ever end up getting together? When we left the show, if you watch the little credits at the end, <laughs> this is another thing that pissed me off. His was like, yeah, I'm dating a whole bunch of girls. I'm not getting off the carousel, blah, 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 blah. 
look like a ladies man mine was like oh christopher is gonna come visit me in summer i'm so happy um when they called to do the updates it was maybe three weeks or a month after filming and at that point me and christopher were still friends we still talked on the phone hey how are you how are things um and it just kind of got to a point where it was like like you're a cool guy i like being your friend but i really don't feel like getting calls at two o'clock in the morning about all the girls that liked you at the club and and i just kind of realized like you're still on that carousel you're never getting off that carousel we can be friends but nothing is ever going to manifest past this so christopher never ended up coming to visit me um i'm still in contact with everyone from the show but because everyone's so spread out all over the place um haven't really been able to reconnect with anyone but hopefully come december i will be attending lisa and Paj's wedding congrats you guys i'm so happy for you that was real that was a real actual proposal they are in love they're getting married in december in um in atlanta and it's going to be televised with uh say yes to the dress so that's gonna be exciting of course if he's gonna get married he's gonna do it in style um so lisa and Paj are happily still together um besides that though the only other people from the show that remain together are Stu and ally which is so cute i absolutely adore them together ally is the female version of Stu, and i think they are a perfect match um everyone else is still single and you know trying to find that special one but i think that we all walked away uh, from boot camp with the tools that we need to build a successful relationship um i'm dating i'm very happy with where i'm at at life um when it comes time for a serious relationship i feel like i'm not going to be getting in the way of myself um the curse I mean, <laughs> we all have really bad luck in my family, I guess. All the women are single, but I don't think that's going to hinder me of a lifetime of solitude. Like, I really do believe in love, and I believe that I'm I'm worthy of it, and I'm going to receive it, and this curse is not going to get in my way, and I can genuinely say that I'm very excited for the future and uh tough love definitely helped me and changed me for the better and i am truly grateful for steve and monica um for listening to my story and believing in me and um without them you know i would still be in that same mindset so it was definitely a life-altering experience and i wouldn't trade it for the world as hard as it was and as uh, <laughs> nerve-wracking and uh, just crazy uh it was one of the best things i've ever done in my life so show's over but you guys can still keep following all of us uh online to see what we're up to updates um everyone is on in uh twitter uh if you guys want to add we have kyle is miss kyle keller Stu is at vh1 stew chris with a k is at VH1 Chris. Uh, of course, Peter Pan is at Peter Pan VH1. Um, Judy is I am J Nash, J A E N A S H. Um, Portia is at the Pretty P. And Mr. Paj is at Paj Mahaje, um, which is M O H A G E R. And I am at Sarai Jones on all social media. Make sure you guys follow, uh, tweet. Uh, subscribe all that good stuff um and keep your uh, you keep updating um with what i've got going on um and thank you so much for everybody that tuned in this season it was a rough one and i appreciate everybody who watched me on my journey and was really supportive um you guys are amazing and i appreciate all of the messages that i get um you know people coming up to me saying that i inspired them which uh, I, I i mean thank you but i was just somebody with problems who needed help and i sought after help and received it and um i'm glad that my story can help someone somewhere with their problems so i love you guys so much and thank you for all of the support and i will talk to you soon Mwah.